My name is Nina Franco and I come from Nyanka, Connecticut. And there's a lot of dentists in Los Algodones. I don't know, it looks like hundreds to me. And out of all of them, this was the most highly rated. We saw the most testimonials that most people said that this was the best place to come to. Uh, I received a bridge. I had two broken teeth restored. Um, I had a whole bunch of caps done. I had quite a lot of work done actually. 100%. I'm overwhelmed by the quality of the work. It's just perfect. People look at my teeth and they say, oh, your teeth are beautiful, they're perfect. And I said, three or four years ago, this tooth was broken, this tooth was broken, I had silver fillings, my mouth was a mess, but now it's perfect. Oh, I love the doctors here. Uh, Dr. Soto just put two caps on me a couple of minutes ago. I fell asleep when she was working on me. She's so gentle. And uh, yeah, the, all the doctors that I've seen here, they've really done wonderful work. My husband had a tooth pulled, he, a wisdom tooth, you know how they are, yesterday. And he said, other than a little swelling, he took one ibuprofen yesterday. And today he says he feels fine, he had a normal breakfast. So they did a wonderful job just pulling out that wisdom tooth. Everything is just so modern. I mean, I come from Connecticut, you would expect since I live directly between New York and Boston, you would expect that out of all the places they would have very modern things. And yet, this place is far and away much more modern than any dental place that I've ever been to in my life. I love this little town. Again, you hear stories, ooh, Mexico border town. I have never felt the least bit nervous or anything. Everyone in town is just nice. It's You can buy little bargains on the street and even you don't even have to worry about the water. I, from what I understand they use the same water system as Yuma, Arizona so I've been drinking from the tap. This is my fifth visit and uh, you don't have to worry about anything. There's no problems with security or safety. There's no gangs. It's, it's just for the tourists. It's a tourist town so there's no safety problems whatsoever, you don't have to worry. Even if you're walking home late to the hotel at night, there's nothing. I stayed at the Hacienda Hotel, it's a cute little hotel. And what I really like about it is, the hotel is meant for the dental patients. So some people go across the border to Yuma. But if you just had a tooth pulled or you're in the middle of dental work, and you know you have some teeth, you're in the middle of it and you're missing something, if you're in Yuma, what are you going to do? You, you feel odd at a restaurant if you're missing a tooth or you're, you're swollen or something. But at the Hacienda Hotel, since everyone there is getting dental work done, you know, if, you, if you're a little swollen or bleeding or drooling a little bit, everyone else is, so you don't worry about it. And mm -hmm. so, and they even have a special menu called Soft Menu. So for that night, if you're a little sore, you don't have to, you know, They'll just fix it for you special. So I love the Hacienda. There is just no comparison. Yeah, 70 is probably a good ballpark figure. Sometimes I think it's even more. The, the prices are just, you know, I won't give out any, say, oh, I spent this or that, but yeah, easy, easily. Again, I was the same way. I was a little bit reluctant. And, ooh, go to Mexico. I'm not sure about that. but. Once I've been here, once I got to meet the people, walk around, meet the other American tourists, there's so many snowbirds. If you're not a snowbird, but you know, Arizona's right there, there's so many snowbirds who just automatically come down here for the dental work. They come down here to get their prescriptions filled, which is also 70% cheaper, by the way. Come down here for a few other things. Now my dermatologist is here. It's just a wonderful place, and I consider this my mini-vacation. I'm, I'm like, oh, we're going to this, I'm so happy. <laughs>